Books are never going to be replaced no matter how many online courses and platforms may come. And in this video, I'm going to talk about 5 machine learning books that one must read if he or she is a machine learning enthusiast. Coming up. Alright, let's get into the video. So all the books that I'm going to talk in this video comes from different spectrum of machine learning and is in no particular order. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to talk about is the Data Science from Scratch that is published by O'Reilly. The author is Mr. Joel and it is the best book to get started with machine learning if you are very new to it. It has a scratch course on Python and also covers the basics of linear algebra, statistics and probability so that you have a very good basic foundation and later on get started with machine learning algorithms. It covers models like logistic regression, naive bias, clustering, k-means. The best part about this book that it does not uses any machine learning library and teaches you all these algorithms from scratch that is from Python. Whenever I go to any sessions or events, I always tell them that you need to learn how to write those algorithms from scratch other than moving into any machine learning libraries on the very first place. Also, it covers topics like MapReduce and databases that will help you learn a bit of broader scope than just machine learning and explore much more new possibilities. Also, it has a glimpse of deep learning and AI which you can probably get started and have a better view. So the first book that I refer is Data Science from Scratch by O'Reilly and the publisher is Mr. Joel. The second book is, <laughs> this book might interest to many guys and it's the Mastering OpenCV 2nd edition and it's published by Pact. The author is Mr. David Millen. It's 250 pages book and it teaches you almost everything about image processing starting from the basics to up to a very good project that is based on Raspberry Pi. It also teaches you how you can use new 3D visualizations open of OpenCV3. Also it gives you an entire end-to-end -end project on how you can make a face recognition using a database and uh, that can actually identify faces that the faces which are stored in a databases. So this Master of OpenCV by Pact is, I feel, uh, a good book to get started if you're new into image processing. The third one is one of my most favorite and this book is very, very famous across the YouTube and other platform. And I also have that book. It is Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn and TensorFlow. Now, as the name says, this book, this particular book, is totally practical oriented. Now, I don't want you to read this book until unless you don't have knowledge of basic algorithms and Python. Uh, you'll find a couple of videos on YouTube telling that you can, this is the best book for machine learning, you can get started. No, this is not the best book to get started, but this is the best book if you have a basic knowledge of Python and machine learning. It has 545 pages. It's again by O'Reilly and it's written by or Rillian Kiran. I'm really sorry I cannot pronounce that name but uh, the latest edition that one I have is the seventh edition from 2018. I have made one separate video discussing about all the things in this book. I'll give the link in the description so that you can go and have a review of this book and decide whether you should buy this book or not. The fourth book, this is the fourth book I have written on this paper um okay the fourth book is the deep learning with python it's written by frank yours call it and the publisher is manning this is very famous book if you have basic knowledge of python and you have learned scikit learn and a kind of tensorflow this book covers the keras the library for the deep learning right it is a 384 pages and the edition is of 2007 you must read this book. You do not require any prerequisite of machine learning or not. If you have not worked on TensorFlow, you have not worked on your, the scikit-learn library, even then straight away you can go buy this book and get into Keras. The only prerequisite that you need to have is the basic knowledge of Python. And I believe it will only take you 
one day or maybe less than that to understand the syntax and the libraries of Python. That's all. So you must read this book before you get into any of the interview. The last book in no particular order is Natural Language Processing by Python, which is published by O'Reilly and the book is written by Stephen Bird and plus two authors. It covers the almost entire architecture of natural language processing like WordToNet and uh, TreeBanks. Also, it teaches you how to extract information from unstructured data, analyze linguistic structures in text and many, many more. So if you uh, notice that in this video, I have covered books from scratch. I've covered books for scikit-learn and TensorFlow. We also had the books for Keras, also for natural language processing and OpenCV. So I've tried to cover the entire spectrum. Of course, there's a lot more to learn from here, but make sure that if you're a machine learning enthusiast, if not all, you must read or go through these books. For if you're watching or if a student who's watching this video, there are possibilities that these books might be a little expensive for you. But I would suggest you, or more specifically, if you are watching an engineering student, I would suggest you to uh, look at your pocket money, try to save it. Don't go cafes a little much, okay? And uh, just kind of try and save it and go for buying it, okay? That's all in this video. I have made a detailed one. I'll give the link in the description so that you can go and have a look at it, the entire review that I have done. Then you can decide whether you want to buy or not that's all from my side in this video i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday that's all in this video i said i think i said it already okay okay so uh, thank you so much for watching my name is Stephen simon see you in the next video